This is section 3.9, derivatives of exponential and log functions. So in this section, you learn a bunch of different new rules of how to take the derivatives of a bunch of new functions. Um, so we're going to have a couple different videos over this section going through each rule. In this video, we're going to go through number 9. And number 9 involves rules for how to take the derivative of e to the x and l at x functions. So before we take the derivative, let's go through those rules. So when we have the function e to the x, the derivative is e to the x times x prime. I'm going to write it a little bit differently from the book, just so that we remember to always use chain rule with these functions. And remember, it doesn't have to be just e to the x. It could be e to the something. The derivative of e to the something is just e to that same something times the derivative of that something. OK, and for ln x, the derivative is 1 over x times x prime, again, using chain rule. And again. Uh, it doesn't have to be just x inside here. It could be ln of something, and the derivative of that is 1 over that something times derivative of that something. All right, so let's apply these rules to number 9 in the book. So number 9 gives us this function. We're going to start with the outermost function, which is e to the something. The derivative of e to the something is e to that same something times the derivative of that exponent. So now I'm looking at the derivative of ln x, all that squared. So this is going to use some chain rule. My outermost function here is something squared, and the derivative of something squared is 2 times the inside, raised to the first power. And now I take the derivative of this innermost part here, the ln x. Remember, the derivative of ln x is just 1 over x times x prime. OK, so I'll use pink again. So the derivative of ln x just leaves me with 1 over x times x prime. In this case, the derivative of x is just 1. Alrighty, and that's about it for this problem. Let me simplify it a little bit so it looks a little cleaner. This is e to ln x squared um, times 2 ln x, all that, over x. And that's about it for this problem. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts covered in this video are true no matter what calculus class you're in, but all the sections and problems I referenced were from this textbook right here. And remember that if you're a registered Baylor student, we offer free tutoring on the first floor of Sid Rich. You can either schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment online or just drop in whenever you're available during our business hours for free tutoring. For more information, feel free to visit our website.